Here to help us organize our time a little bit better is Diana Boer, author of Get a Life Without Sacrificing Your Career. Good to have you here. Thank you. Let's start with the home. Okay, how, how do we, what, what should we do to go about this? Because everybody can relate to right. how they feel. Right. You want to stop, first of all, stop that crisis reaction mode that we saw Joe and Chris in and instead plan. That, oh my God, I've got so much to do, I don't right. know how I'm ever going to get it done in one day. Right. Disorganization is a big time waster and one of the things that helps is to shop smart. And by that I mean, for example, create your menus for one week and buy your groceries all in one trip. So eliminate three, four, five trips to the grocery store, right. okay? Buy staples. Like, there's just no excuse for running out of toilet paper, tissue, or toothpaste when you can buy in quantities. Yeah. You want to shop at off-peak hours. See, now, my friends laugh at me because I do this next one, stock, stock up on cards and gifts. But if you do it, then every time somebody, ha you think, oh my gosh, somebody just had a baby or somebody just had a and birthday. And you're running out to get that gift. But you have but it already. If you keep those gifts and cards there, then you don't have to run out. When somebody gets sick, you've got a get well card on hand. And shopping at off-peak hours so you don't have to dodge other shoppers going down the aisles and don't have to wait at checkout. Uh, making doctors and dentist appointments first thing in the morning so that uh, people, you know, as you go through the day, get further behind, they're running behind, that makes you behind. And so make all your arrangements early or at off Rather than times. at lunch or at the end of the day, for example. All right, office, because today so many people have to leave the chaos of house to the chaos of office. Right, you want to go out and get one calendar.